Okay, chat. Excitebike64 released here on this drip feed of titles. And um, I feel like the N64 stuff, there's a good library here. But the new releases are very slow. And um, at some point, I'd like to do a part two of me checking out all the games on the you don't own the game service. But today we're going to check out Excitebike 64 and give it its own segment. Because this game is super fucking underrated. When I, um, when I rented this game, I remember loving it. And I want to see if it's still good. Also, if I'm not mistaken, this game was a huge pain in the ass to uh, emulate. But yeah, there's a ton of different levels, there's custom tracks. I remember, like, almost being overwhelmed with the amount of stuff in this game. There's just so much. It, this seems to emulate fine, but the default controls are ass. Oh. Well, <clears throat> we can check out um, a level, and then I'll go through some of the game modes. And, um... Just to check it out for a little bit. I'm not really planning on playing this more than an hour. So we got Jumpin' Jim Rivers, Tricky Ricky Stern, Sarah Sugar Hill, Bobby Big Dog Malone, <laughs> Nigel the Duke York, Vicky the Vixen Steel. I, I think we're gonna just go with Jumpin' Jim with a green bike. No, I have no idea how to play this game. I just have memories of enjoying it. I was also a pretty big Excitebike fan back in the day because you could create your own levels, which is a relatively unique thing for the time. Good. Good start. I don't know how to play this. Jim Rivers is behind everyone. You know what? With some resolution increase that we have now for this, this game still looks pretty decent for an N64 game. What the fuck? I know there's tricks you can do. I'm wondering, do you have to... Use the C-Stick? Oh no, C-Stick is a camera. I'm, I'm pressing every button to find the trick button. I can't find it. Get! Eat shit! This is just Wario Stadium, but for adults. But the, uh, the bike physics are really good. Also, the, the timing of this game's release is interesting because the X Games... And, like, this type of sport was getting, like, really big. Maybe not specifically motorcycles, I mean, just in general. Why is everything covered in ominous black fog? Oh, that is the, um, the game twist. You find out about that later. You find out about the... the baboon plotline a little bit into the game. Already has eaten shit. I like when you uh, when you wipe out, you uh, you just get locked into the fetal position. Good 
good. Really, really having a good time here on this. Really having a great time. Are there any other buttons? Hang on, let's find out. So we got, uh, stunt is down C. Oh, that's dog shit. Turbo is, um, the Z button. I know there's a way to rebind. Oh, I went for minimal HUD. Oh, no wonder. That's the boost. Oh, okay. That that makes sense. That's like the old Excite Bike. See, I don't remember a lot of this. I just remember really having fun with the rental, but you have to, you know, use your boost uh, accordingly and not overheat your bike. But yeah, the stunt button is in the worst position. You have to claw like a crab, and it doesn't even seem to work. Maybe it's a different button. I think it's hold C and press other buttons. Oh, which makes the game absolutely fucking impossible to do tricks. Because you're using, you're holding the, the gas button, and then you have to crab your fingers in order to fucking... Wow, I keep turning off the HUD because of the, the trick button. I mean, I guess you could rebind. Let's see if there's... Configuration A. Ugh. Configuration B. Wow, every configuration has stunt at, uh, down C. Press X and rotate the stick. Oh, okay, no, that makes it- they- they actually fixed it. They fixed it, chat. Saran wrap? You don't understand how big Tony Hawk was at this time, it, like, as a human and also his game. So, like, having a game where you do tricks was of vital importance. Okay, no, no, chat. The controls for this port, uh, this version of the game, are actually a lot better than I thought. I didn't realize you had to rotate the stick. That changes everything. I no longer have to crab. So yeah, I'm I'm starting to get the hang of it again. You don't have the N64 Switch controller right now. So you have special tracks, too. If I'm not mistaken... Oh, chat, how do we unlock all this shit? This was all really good shit. There's gotta be a cheat code or something. Um, chat, check this out. This was one of those, like, early... Um, amazing things. This entire course is randomly generated. Now random generation is like commonplace, but at the time, this was just like in infinite game mode. And I've already failed miserably. To unlock the NES Excite Bike game complete tutorial. Wait, no, 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 no. This is. Did I not. How precise do you have to be?
I think it's randomly generated. I mean, it looks like it could be. Oh, you have to be very precise. Look at that speed. Wow. Oh yeah, this this game can be real fun. And this was a late like N64 game. This is like 2000. So Uh-oh. Yeah, the accuracy. Oh! The accuracy of touching fire is actually quite important. Then there was like um the this series, the Excite Plus Bike or whatever name series kind of just faded away. But um Excite Truck was a thing that I never played. That was I think on the Wii. That is so fucking precise. You have to, like, really just touch fire. That would probably be something, if this was, like, actually remade, I think they would probably change that a little bit. Give it a, a bigger hitbox, because look at that. Precise! But there's also stunt course. So you can do some cunning stunts. I want to try Jumbo Josh. Where's Jumbo? Oh, uh, this is Jump Jumpin' Jim. Different guy. Three, two, one, go! Success in this mode is predicated on actually learning the controls. I don't know how many moves there are in this game, because it seems like you just hold the thing and then do the thing, and that's it. I don't know if there's, like, only four moves. Would you put sauce in your burgers? What? Um, well, you put sauce on your burgers, no? I had a pretty good uh, sandwich today. It didn't have sauce on it, but... It was uh, ham and salam. Nothing better than good salam, by the way. Good good deli meat, that is. Um, and uh, roasted red peppers, lettuce, tomato, oil, vinegar. On really, really good bread. Like, one of the places I go to makes their own bread, and it's just fucking perfect. Who's naming these tricks, by the way? Actually, there's plenty of tricks that are named by, like, Tony Hawk in skateboarding. Like the Game Over, that's a cool trick. Game Over, man! Oh, you save tracks to the controller pack.
Hang on a second, why is there like a tremendous delay on the audio? Oh, that's just what it is in game. I unmuted my TV, and it is in fact exactly that. Add user piece? You know, for its time, this, this, this shit was really cool. What the fuck is a user piece? Oh, that's right, I forgot about this. You can edit your own pieces. Wow, that's awful. And then it just, like, hits into a wall. Maybe, maybe we don't want that? Maybe we want that here, though. So if we do user piece, and we do, um... Not that one. I I'm sorry, I'm learning. Controls here. No. Ah. Ah. Chat, this is tough. Much better. No, I don't want to add the segment. No, no, no. I'm, I'm editing. No. There we go. That'll do. Whoop! Good, okay. We're gonna add a turn. We'll add a big turn, and then we'll do another because I hate everyone. That's the cool thing about um, making excite bike tracks is you can just decide that you hate people and and make your um, your track accordingly. I could make the most annoying track in the world. And I, I will do so in just a moment. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? There we go. No, 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 we got something here, chat. We got a- we got a track. It's good. This is a good track. Track complete! Cool, cool, cool jump! <laughs> Already, like, climbing out of a pit. Dead. I'm gonna make the euthanasia track after this.
You've got dirt options. There's not a lot of options, but you get some. All right, chat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a uh, a cool track that that's gonna be like tons of fun. I want the most fun possible. I wish I could can I make this longer. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, chat. That's what I'm talking about. Dump bump. It was almost shaving a haircut. Let's see who can climb out of the pit. Fun. Look how fun this track is. It's gonna this is gonna be real fun for a lot of people, I think. And then we're gonna add a, a giant jump into a wall no, we can't do that, unfortunately. Hmm. Up with this camera angle. Like, let me let me see what I'm doing. Hmm. You like turns? I like turns too. Mm hmm. I don't think it's possible to complete this course. I wonder if, I don't remember if you could add AI to, like, play against on your custom tracks, but I'm sure they would love this one. Yeah, lose all speed. I'd never have fun. Nowhere to go. It's fine. I mean, it's it's a cool feature, and of course, the original Excite bike, uh, bike, bike. Whoa, why that word sound like that? Had a uh, had a level editor, so that that is like continuing the tradition. Well, oh, high res mode. With the expansion pack, I think you could turn that on. I can't tell if there's a difference. I mean, maybe a little bit. Oh, they're stretched. Oh, okay, there's a difference. Unfortunately, I don't think you can stretch out the screen. Where did Bobby Malone go? Also, his helmet looks a little, like, vascular. Like Van's Deference-ish. Yeah. 
sometimes the graphics break. Place is foggy. Oh! Seems like an oversight on Nintendo's part not to make the screen get filled when uh, in high def mode or high res mode. I agree. I mean, they changed the stunt button, so they're willing to go into these games and make some changes. But having like an actual true widescreen for this would be nice. To me, this game always felt like the natural progression from Wave Race 64. Like, there were other good racing games, of course, but this had like a similar game feel. And there's also 1080, of course. GoldenEye had widescreen on the app, so it's possible. Well, GoldenEye got edited in a number of different ways. Alright, let me check something. Excite Bike 64 cheat codes. Wow, this page is 23 years old. Bonus stunts, debug mode, downhill mode, activate all tricks. I mean, I see, um, I see cheats, but I don't see an unlock everything. To display the cheat menu, hold L plus C right plus C down plus A. How the fuck do you do all that at the same time? You can't. Oh, you just, you just can. It's like Anakin. Whee! Well, I was hoping to unlock... Excite 3D, but I don't know how to unlock that. To unlock Excite 3D Trek, get first in challenge round of the pro season. That's not happening. Oh, fuck that. Well, we can do big head mode. Blah, blah. I still don't know what downhill mode is. There's also night mode. And odd color mode. Well, let's try odd color mode. Rot colors.
We're, we'll never see Las Vegas. Oh, Long Island, New York. It's just another indoor track. Okay, never mind. I don't think the cheats are enabled. Yes, they are. Never mind. Easiest cheats in the world to program. Great. Poggle, I'm hurt, boy. I mean, the star of the show here is the gameplay. Like, it's still really fun to uh, learn how to do the things and not do that. I remember, um... <laughs> I remember really enjoying, like, getting into the, the game and, like, learning the intricacies. Um, and there's a lot of challenge here, too, but, yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot. All the other game modes, you have to, like, unlock. But a pretty, still a pretty decently, um... Nice looking game. Still fun. That's my favorite trick. I don't know how to do any other trick, apparently. Ricky Stern gives a stool sample. There's also bonus stunts, bikers invisible, invincibility, night mode, see the developers, small heads, transparent rider mode, beat this mode, I just want to see what that means, I don't know what that means. Probably not here. Soccer was basically Rocket League chat before Rocket League. Just wanted you to be aware of that. Hill climb is you just go up a hill. Isn't that cool? I don't know what beat this exclamation mark mode means, but here it is, I think. Anyone? Does anyone know? What, like, what's going on here? They're a hell. Watch out. Aren't you supposed to slow down on turns so you don't crash into every single corner? Uh, I, I don't know yet. Experientially, I don't have that information unlocked in my brain yet, sorry. Beat this mode is game harder. Oh, that's all it is. It's just the game is now harder. Okay.
Look at those shuffling feet. <laughs> what? It's just funny to me for some reason. Look at that face. Wow, what a face. All right, Chad, that's really it. I mean, not really a whole lot else to see unless I decided to actually go through the game and try to, like, actually be good at it and unlock the courses. But there's a lot here, and the game is still fun. I think it's a pretty good addition to the library, but again, there is definitely a drip feed happening, and um, it feels like there could be more N64 games on here. Like, before I move on to Final Fantasy 16, I just wanted to take a look and see what's not here. Um... Well, Perfect Dark, for one. Uh, well, Turok is getting remastered. Uh, Turok has been remastered, so I don't think we really need the N64 versions. Mario Party 3 is not on here. Donkey Kong 64 is also not on here, which that's a, whether you love it or hate it, that's a big game on the N64. Um, Smash 64? Yeah, they're afraid people are going to make more tournaments. They don't want that. You can buy Star Wars pod racing separately. <clears throat> Turok is on Switch, just remastered. A way better version. Diddy Kong Racing? I love. That's not on here. Um, is Jet Force Gemini on here? No, a lot of the like classic rare games are not. Uh, Battle Tanks is great. Battle Tanks Two is also great. Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire. Eh. You know what? I could see that game being remastered by Night Dive. I could see that game getting some better controls and stuff. There's a lot of good in there. It's just not doesn't come together. It's like got some issues, but I like it a lot. What's the game to the left of Star Fox 64? That is Sin and Punishment. That is another phenomenal game. That got a sequel on the Wii. Um, Quest 64, where are you? Seriously. Yeah, Mario Party 3 would be great. Mischief Makers is another great game. Vinny, have you played all of these games? Um, I'll tell you which ones real quick. I never owned Yoshi Story. I've only played it a little bit later in life, and not too much of it. I have completed this game and owned it. This game, this game, this game, this game, this one, Pap Mario, Banjo-Kazooie, Majora, F-Zero, which I didn't have, but I played a lot of, so I, I wouldn't say I completed it. Um... I rented Pokemon Snap and completed it. I didn't have Puzzle League, but it's basically Tetris Attack. Um, this I, I have completed several times, but I didn't own it when it first came out. I rented it. But um, since then, I've streamed it and completed it. Mario Golf was a rental. Never finished it, but got pretty far. Um, Wave Race I was a rental, and a friend owned it, so I played a ton of it. I had Star Fox, uh, sorry, Pilot Wing 64 and loved it. Played it over and over and over again, back when the N64 only had three games. I owned Mario Party 2 and 1 and 3. GoldenEye, the amount of hours I have in GoldenEye is probably insane. Like, just, if I could, like, die and see my video game time in life, I think GoldenEye would be in my top ten. Um, never gave a shit about Pokemon Stadium, so never played Pokemon Stadium, outside of just the minigames. Because Pokemon was always kind of a hit or miss thing for me. It's fine. And Excitebike was a rental. So. So yeah, most of these I've played a decent amount. Anyway. Here's Maxwell the cat. 